the 2018 wildfire that destroyed the town of Paradise, California, remains the deadliest and most destructive in the state's history. Over 15,000 homes were destroyed, 85 lives were lost. Today, 16 months later, hundreds of families are still displaced. My next guest is working to make a difference, buying and donating dozens of RVs for victims left homeless. The RVs serve as temporary shelters while the families get back on their feet, but they do something a bit more. They allow people to return to paradise and actually live in the community as the city rebuilds. That's why he is today's Rad Human. Please welcome James Woody Faircloth. Thank you. Thank you. I love that you go by Woody. That's my, my mom's my, name. Oh, it is? Yeah. My children would be very excited. They're very big into that movie. Awesome. <laughs> um, Toy Story. Okay. Um, <laughs> just in case you're living under a rock. Um, so you're not from Paradise or even California. So how did you get involved in this? Well, I'm actually from, uh, I live in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. And I was, I was, it was a year ago Thanksgiving. And I was watching what was happening in California with the wildfires, and, and the numbers I was hearing were just unimaginable. It was 50,000 people left homeless, yeah. you know, just a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, and the, the entire town burned down. And, you know, then I saw a story about this fire, and a guy had started up the RV on the side of his, his house, and he drove away down the road, barely escaped. His house burned to the ground like everyone else's. Yeah. And, you know, the same road he escaped on, people died on. And, and they interviewed him, and he said, I'm so thankful that I have my life and I have this home, you know, in this RV and it was just... Because everything else is gone. And it was like a lightning bolt. I, was, I just turned to Luna, my daughter, and I said, Luna, what do you think about getting an RV and driving it to California, and giving it to a family who lost their home? She said, Dad, God and Santa Claus are gonna be really proud of us. Aww. And I was just... Oh, wow. I was like, it's wow. on. <laughs> Don't wow. Yeah. I knew... God. Santa Claus are going to be so proud. I knew oh. that was it. Like, we had, we're going to do this. And so oh. then I was, okay, where do I get an RV, right? Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I went to Craigslist and I emailed everyone in Colorado that was selling an RV that looked like it would make it all the way to California. Yeah. And um, <laughs> this one guy got back to me and he said, hey, I'll sell it to you for a third of the price I was asking, $2,500. And so the day before Thanksgiving, we went and bought it. And for the first time in our lives, we stepped in an RV and we just started driving. And um, we created an RV for Campfire Family at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. That's a mouthful email address. And I posted it on one of the relief uh, Facebook pages. It mm -hmm. was and just said, hey, I'm a dad from Colorado. My daughter and I are driving out. We want to find a family to donate this RV to. And I hit post and my phone just melted. I mean, there were hundreds of families wow. saying, please, just crying hey, out. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people always want to help and they don't know right. how or where to put their money or their time. So once somebody kind of starts this, like you did, I think people start to jump on board and really want to be a part of that change and that help. And it, It's so true. It's amazing. And people heard about our story. A guy called me and he donated an RV. Then a guy called and said, I'll donate two RVs. But that's when I realized I wasn't driving the RV, that God was involved and mm -hmm. I just surrendered to yeah. that. Like, yeah, you are now just the vessel. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you know, Thankfully, he was calling other people at the same time and telling them what to do because it all just came together in the most magical way. But, you know, when we got there and saw what was happening, I mean, it was apocalyptic. You know, wildfires don't discriminate, right? It burned the yep. whole town down. and Everybody lost their homes and their jobs. And so... Uh, you were affected, were you not? Yeah, well, you were evacuated for yeah. over a week. And um, it didn't get to our house, but it burned our fence down. It doesn't matter who you are. It's like you, right. if you're in the line of that path. It's just, yeah. it's, it's horrifying what happens. And, you know, we stopped for breakfast and three of the waitresses in the restaurant had lost their homes. And the Target oh. checkout lady and I were just weeping together, like hugging, because she was telling me her story and we were just so touched by it. And so we decided, you know, we have this platform. We have to continue to help, yeah. you know. And with that first RV, we gave it to a family of six, and they had an eight-week-old baby, oh, and they oh had lost. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine having an eight-week-old baby? I mean, I can't imagine that part, but can you imagine, <laughs> yeah. like, out in, the, in a tent, like you're just camping because yeah. you don't have anywhere to go? Wow. Well, yeah, we, we found our family to spend with for Thanksgiving, and it was just, it was the most amazing Thanksgiving in 51 years for me. And what an amazing thing as well that you're teaching your daughter. It's one of those things that you have to kind of find ways like this to really show what what true character is and like what true kindness is and looking outside yourself like and, and thinking about others and even if you don't know them if they're strangers it's a really cool thing you're teaching your daughter thank you well woody plans <laughs> to give his 80th rv to a 80th he's given wow. 80 wow. rvs away that's amazing by the way
Now he's going to give his 80th RV to a family he's been in touch with. They're backstage and have no idea their new home is sitting outside, right outside our studio, actually right now. Um, before we meet them, let's hear their story. My name is Kelly Sutterfield. I'm a single mom of three kids, and I'm from Paradise, California. Before the fire, um, our life was great. We had just moved into a brand new house. Everything seemed to be working out, finally. And then November 8th came. I got a call from the school that our kids were being evacuated immediately. It was absolutely terrifying. And we were able to grab about a trash bag of clothes before the fire burned our house down. So we ended up staying in a tent with the kids for about three weeks. My oldest is currently living with his dad in Megalia, and me and the two younger boys are living about an hour and a half away. My one wish is to be able to get this RV so I can get my family back together. Losing your house was tough. It's okay. This is a cry oh, zone. I don't know if you've ever seen me on television, but I'm normally crying. But uh, I know that losing your house was tough, but some of the toughest moments have actually arisen afterwards, right? Yeah. Um, we went from living in a tent for about a month um, at a campground to living in a really small apartment. And the boys have had to move schools a couple times. We've lost a lot of connections with like family and friends due mm. to being so far away. Um, from paradise at the moment and I think the hardest part was the moment um, Kingston here had a BMX bike that he had had before the fire and it was this only thing that he had grabbed out of our house before it burned down mm -hmm. and one morning we woke up and it was stolen and uh, yeah it was it was really rough that feels like the final <laughs> straw yeah that was that was the breaking point for him um, he woke up that morning and just said, I'm done. I don't want to live in Corning anymore. I don't want to be in this apartment. Yeah. And I sacrificed, you know, my happiness to make him happy and let him move full time with his dad in Megillia. And so we are separated at the moment, about almost two hours away from each other. That's hard for him. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. 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 We only see each other, you know, not very oh, often. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here you go. Don't worry. I'm telling you, I cry all the time. It's, I'm always got a stock of Kleenex. So it's like, they know me well here. Um, so, Kelly, have you tried to move back to the area? Um, yeah, we, we pretty much have been trying since, you know, we lost our house. It's pretty impossible. At the moment, there's not much rebuilt yet in this yeah. town. And there's very few rentals. And the rentals that they do have, the rents skyrockets double or triple of what it was That's before. That's wrong. Yeah. As a single mother, obviously, I'm not able to yeah. pay for that. So I made the attempt to reach out to Woody here. He was my last hope um, yeah. to reach out to him and I see if he had any available RVs for me so that I can move back up to Megalia Paradise area to have my family back together. I, yeah. I have to say, it was so touching when Kelly reached out because like so many people from this community, she said to me, you know, I've waited because I know people need this more than me. Yeah. But I, I really need this, you know? And it just is so touching to me that, you know, she, she, she waited. She needed this the day after the fire and, and wanted other people in her community that might have been in a worse situation to, to go in front of her, which is really says a lot that about heart. Kelly yeah, yeah, and these boys. So Kingston, you live with your dad now, and that's, your mom said it's two hours away from her. Like, has that been pretty hard? Yeah, it's been really hard. Um... I used to see my mom every day, and now I see her like once or twice every month. I, I really hope she wins this RV so I could be back with her. Well, I, just <laughs> I was trying to keep it together. Everything's fine. Um, so Wyatt and Weston, what about y'all? You miss your big bro? Yeah. Yeah? Or, or does he tease you too much? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, well, Woody, you have something you want to say, right? Well, I, I just want to... 
thank Kelly for coming because, you know, a lot of people, when the fire goes out, people think problem solved, right? And for this community, that's just the beginning. We still have 130 families on our waiting list for housing, which is wow. it's crazy um, in this day and age. So I just, as I told Kelly, you know, doing things like this helps us bring more exposure. And I'm sure somebody out there has an RV they want to maybe donate and and, and that's kind of what we're looking for, you know, is people to help out. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, well, Woody has come through. Check it out. Oh, hey! hey what's Your up, new bro? RV is sitting outside our studio, uh, and my friend Trevor Jackson oh, look, is ready look. to give you we'll a take tour. Take a look at it. Take it away, Trevor. What's up, this guys? This is y'all. I'm so excited to show you guys your new home. Woody, what you've done here is amazing. Let's check it out, y'all. Yeah. Here we go. I love it. Come on in, come on in. We've got the whole new TV right here. <laughs> oh got the my kitchen. gosh. I love what you're watching. <laughs> kitchen. So many of the basic needs. That's in the awesome. It's amazing. We've got the couch right here. You can lounge out. Play some yes, video games. Yes, man. And now, Wyatt, Wesson, I think you guys are going to love this. This is your guys' room. Check it out. Oh I heard my you guys God. love baseball. Oh we got the baseball bats. <laughs> yes. And some new gloves. Yes! Bunk bed. Oh, you gotta get the dinosaur. We gotta get the dinosaur here. Bam. I love the dinosaur. My kid wants to live here. Okay, now, Kelly, let's check out your room. Mama Bear's room. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Got you some aromatherapy candles. Makeup. Cool bed. Got a bathtub, shower. It's amazing, man. I'm so happy for you guys. What you've done here, Woody, is amazing. <laughs> Kelly, you're amazing. And I'm just honored to be a part of an experience like this. Well, honestly. thank you so much, Trevor. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Peace. All right, so Kelly, what do you think? Right, what do y'all think? I'm so hot right now. Oh, my God. Thank, thank you so Kevin. much. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You'll be back together. That's yeah. the best part. <laughs> All right, well, we actually have one more surprise from the boys because after we read something, we were very saddened um, by what? it. So it's been a Stand tough year for Kingston, especially award. after losing his bike. So check it out. <laughs> Jack's bicycle. Oh, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Jack's bicycles is giving oh all the God. boys brand new bikes, a BMX and two track bikes. Want to make people happy and they do it with bicycles. They have 10 locations here in Southern California. Thank y'all so much for donating those bikes. Are you ready to ride those bikes? Yeah. Are you ready to ride those bikes? <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.